Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a face mask on. I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok of trying this fucking face mask out. It's a sulfur face mask from De La Cruz, I think. It's for um, acne and it's been working pretty well for me, so I'm just doing that right now. And that's why I have all this, sh this gross <laughs> shit on my face. And it smells like rotten eggs, too, because it has sulfur in it, but it's okay. You can't smell me from there. If you hear that noise, it's the dishwasher. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But I'm in my living room today because I like to do my nails <sighs> on my kitchen table because it's easier. Um, but yeah, I made a video a couple months ago of me doing my um, Gel X nails at home and I've been doing them ever since. Um, I don't go to the nail salon anymore. I do my toes and my nails at home. Saved a whole bunch of freaking money. <laughs> so yeah, so the last video I showed, I had probably done my nails like once or twice with Gel X and I made that video. But I've done them a lot of times now and I've done my mom's nails, my sister's nails, my cousin's nails. Um, so I've... I'm a, I've come a little further so I feel like I've gotten to the point where I can make them last a really long time and I can make them look fun these are the set that I have right now we're about to take them off but I've had these for about a week and a half I mean I could have them for longer but I have these cool new gems and things I want to use and I just don't have nothing else to do so let's do my fucking nails I also lost one <gasps> OMG everything that i have i got off amazon i got like yeah i got everything off amazon so i'm gonna make sure to link everything i use down below but first i need to start with removing the nails i have um i hate this part it takes so fucking long not me scratching my ear and looking at it like a stinky dirty little girl that's gross i'm human bitch i'm human and like I would typically just rip them off and like bite them off because that's what I've done my whole life with removing my nails, but I can't be doing that anymore. So I'm gonna take these little guys and take all my gems off and then I'm gonna take this and then cut them down and then file them down and then we're gonna soak these bitches off. So I always get a bowl and I fill it with acetone. This is that's like the rest of it it's fine this is pure acetone so 100 percent i like to use it because it just makes it go faster and then these little cotton pads it came with this removal kit with these little guys and these tools um i'll link that down below but i'm gonna stick at least 10 of those pads in here so they can soak up the juice because <laughs> i'm gonna um put those it's easier than just individually wetting it with the acetone but yeah let me take these gems off this fucking i use the what i'll show you it it's this rhinestone glue i got it on amazon the brand name starts with an m i think and this shit bitch works so well to put gems on like they don't come off and it's really great because it's like they don't fall off, but then they don't fucking come off. So, it's kind of hard to get these bitches off. So, make sure to squint your eyes a little bit so you don't get fucking... You never know. I should probably be wearing safety goggles. Okay, now let's take these off. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Like I said, this nail glue does wonders, but it's like, look at how that gem came off. This one's gonna be a fucking pain. I, goodness. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? And like, I can't even. Okay, there we go. The set that I wanna do, here, I'll show you like my inspo. Ow! Um, I have a picture. This is my inspo picture. I want to do something similar to that. It doesn't need to be exactly like that, but I want it to look kind of like that. Okay, so I got all those off, and now I'm going to cut these down as far as I possibly can because I don't need to soak my whole fucking nail. You know. So just cut them down like this make them look ugly 
Okay, next I'm going to take this drill. It's from Amazon. And I'm going to put a new sanding band on it. This needs to go deeper in. What's going on with this? The dishwasher is so much louder than I thought it was. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to be that loud. Just carry on with the video and try to ignore it. I'm sorry. I'm going to put a new sanding bit on it and drill my nails down pretty damn far on like really high so it goes fast. It sounds like something's wrong with my drill bit. Damn. And I'm just going to get all the polish off and shave it down as much as I can just so they soak off faster. I'm going to like shave them down as far as they can go without my nails starting to fucking burn. I'm also not a professional, guys, but I think we know that. So, and the tips that I use, they're soak off tips. I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, just get most of the freaking thickness off of it. You want it to be... Then enough that it's going to soak down. Now I'm just going to do this with every single one of my fucking nails. And I'll be back in fucking like 20 minutes, bitch. <laughs> okay. Now that you've made a fucking mess, make it a little... I only do one hand at a time, like, to remove them. Because I like to... Because it takes time to soak them. And I like to be able to go on my phone. So any hoozy. This, the little things that have been sitting in here, just take a piece of it and put it over your nail and then put it in here. Easy as that, that you have to do this. But like, it's better to do this than just rip them off because then you'll fuck up your nails and then you won't even be able to have acrylics or whatever the fuck these are, gel X. Anywhoosie, wait 10 minutes. Okay, I started with my therm. So now I'm going to take this little tool and start scraping it off. And it should, for the most part, come all the way off. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to put it back in that little thing for a little bit. But most of it's coming off, you see? Perfect. Ugh. Look at that. And I find it, um, ugh, effective. Oh, that's my nail. Whoops. If I go down and up. But yeah, like this nail, that, everything came off. Okay. Good. Next nail. I don't have to do two rounds. It's always exciting for me because I hate this part. Did I mention that? I don't like doing this. So while these are still cooking, <laughs> I'm gonna just prep my tips. These are the tips that I use. Um, they're long, really long. And that's why I like these. I feel like I don't find a lot of, at least I guess I haven't searched hard enough, but like I don't like the other ones that come in kits because like the Gel X kits, because they're not long. So I just bought this pack of tips. It was under $20, I think. And they're good. They're a little flimsy, but um, just make sure you, you know, if you put enough layers of, like, nail polish on, like, gel on them, they add a little strength to them, and, and they're fine. Just don't bend them on purpose. <laughs> but, yeah, I like these. Um, I already measured out the sizes. Um, but now they come pre-etched, but my nail is, like bigger than how much is etched in there so i just take my drill and i put it on a really low setting and i just etch this a little bit more on the inside because i want them to stay and i've tried these tips without you know etching this a little bit more and i do notice that they won't lay they won't last as long so i don't know i just go ahead and do this now do that with every 10 of your fingers or if you don't have 10 fingers then do it to however many fingers I don't know after I take after I remove all the the gel off of them like scrape it all off I'm gonna start prepping my nails to put the tips on 
Um, I'm gonna cut my nails and make them even because for some fucking reason they're going every which way. I don't have regular nail clippers, so I just use this little cuticle thing. If clarity's in death, then why won't this die? You see, just cutting them down. Mm-hmm. Like that. Damn, so yeah, my natural nails are looking fucking rough. Anyways, I put this down very low. Nope, that's not low. And then I'm gonna file my nails, like any excess stuff that's on them. Gonna get that off. I don't cut my cuticles because that's fucking scary and I used to try and I would always cut myself, so I'll leave that to the professionals, but I'm just using this sanding bit. What is this called? Buffing bit? Sanding bit? I don't know. And I'm going to just lightly go over my whole natural nail. Make sure everything's even and gorgeous. And we need, you know, a rough base so things will stick. Can't wait till we get to the fucking fun part, bitch. Gosh. <sighs> Finally. The nails are where they need to be. Where this is acetone. And clean off my nail. Make sure there's no freaking dust. No oils. We want nothing. I don't have like a um, dehydrator. But this works just fine. Okay, I changed where you guys are. Hopefully... You guys can see a little bit better. You're gonna need a little nail lamp. I use this one to individually put each of the things on, but then I also cure them in the big lamp. Oh, I'm also gonna need this right now because you'll see. Okay, first and foremost, we need a primer. This is the nail primer BH Bonder from this brand. I don't know. Since I'm doing this whole hand first, I'm only going to put this on this hand right now. And then when I start doing the other hand, I'll put it on. Because I don't want, I don't know, anything to get in it. But anyways, I don't know what this does exactly. But I know it helps how long they last. This is the nail glue I use. It's from Beatles. Looks like this. Like I said, everything you can get on Amazon. This is from another Gel X kit that I um, was actually sent by a brand. This brand's really good and their their system is really good too. Um, it comes with everything. You should check them out too. But I just use the base coat from this brand for my nails. And I apply a thin coat to all of my nails. And then I cure it for 30 seconds. So just do a thin coat of this. But when it comes to sizing your nails, like for the like tips, make sure if it's sidewall to sidewall. And if it's too big and that's the only size that works, somewhat file the sides down till it fits sidewall to sidewall. Because if it's too big, it's going to lift up and it won't last. And if it's too small, it's going to look fucking weird. So just make sure it fits. And this also takes practice. Like, if you go back to my first video of me doing this, like, the nails were cute, but they weren't the best. So it just, with time, you'll get, like, to see what works best and how to make them last and how to make them cute. Now we're going to cure this for 30 seconds in the big lamp. Oh, I don't want any dust on this, so I just blow it. <laughs> perfect take your nail glue the one i showed you before so that was a base coat that i just put on but this is the nail glue and if you don't have that base coat you can just use a thinner coat of this on your nails and then cure it but i just have seen that 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 one that i just used works good so this is a tricky part you're gonna have to like figure out how much glue to use it's a learning process honestly i still use too much at times 
Um, but yeah, just make sure it's covering the whole nail like that. Can you guys see me good? Make sure it's covering the whole nail. Not the whole nail. Whole part that's going to go on your nail. You don't put it on your whole, whole nail. Not the whole nail tip. Make sure it's a thick coat. And then I like to put a big old glob at the end. Not too big. Big enough. Okay, and then I let it like drip down a little bit. I hope you guys can see what's going on. But now we're going to put the tip on. And like I said, over time, you guys will learn how much pressure to use, how much glue to use. Um, if some comes out on the sides, it's not the end of the world. Like some came off on the side of my nail right here, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, we're going to flash cure it under here. Make sure it's on there. No bubbles. It doesn't need to be fully cured because we're going to put it under the big lamp. But there she is in all her glory. Now we're going to do the next nail. <laughs> okay. Same thing. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to zoom you in for the next one. If there's any nail techs that have tips for me in the comments on how to do this a little bit better or just any like constructive criticism, let me know. Okay. <gasps> What's on this nail? Did you guys see that well? Okay, last one, and then I'll do the other hand off camera. Oh, she's pretty crooked. <laughs> See, that's okay. If it's a little crooked, it's fine, bitch. Now, under the big lamp, cure. 90 seconds, or two minutes, however fucking long. Make sure those bitches are on there. I'm gonna go to the other hand, and then we'll get started on the rest of the process. Okay, so, there's a couple seconds more of this carrying on my other hand, but we're going to cut them to the length that I want. I still want them long, so I'm not going to cut too much off. Some of these are really crooked, but like this one and that one, whatever. I think I'm just going to cut the number off. It's usually what I do with these, like just a little bit. Don't want too much. They're already shaped like a lot, which I love. So I don't have to do much of this, but and then I file the sides just a little, just like this. I feel like I don't even need to tell you guys anymore, but this is a nail file from Amazon. They're all from fuck. Everything is Amazon. Everything. Loki, except for like some of the the only things that aren't on Amazon it is some of the, the the design things I have. What is that called? Like charms and shit. But you can find them on there. I'm sure. People on TikTok recently have been so damn mean to me. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, but. I like you guys on YouTube better. You guys are nicer to me. You guys just get me and you know me and you don't like bully me and I really appreciate it. But some people, bitch, fucking rude. I think the reason you guys are nicer is cause like, you guys actually like me, you know? You guys know me? TikTok is like random ass fucking people on the For You page that just wanna bully people. And I don't like those motherfuckers. Okay, I shaped them. I'm gonna seal the cuticle, which literally just means going in right here and making this flat, cause sometimes it's like frizzen up and then also sometimes there's glue that poured out 
and I just want to make it beautiful. And this also helps with um, like the longevity of them. What do they call that? Retention. Um, and if you like get these, it'll prevent lift. Like if you get this area right here, it'll prevent lifting, and then it also won't get caught on your hair. I'll show you the before and after of this, like on one hand, just so you can see how it like looks different. And this is on like a very, very low setting right now because I don't want to fucking hurt myself, bitch. You gotta look closely. So this nail, I don't know if you can see that like line of demarcation where things could get snagged under. And then this one is nice and gorgeous and flat. This is before, this is after. So I'm going to do that to all of my fingernails, and I'll be back. So I sealed the cuticles, and now they look like this. But another thing that I do to seal the cuticle is I take a little bit of acetone, and I saw this girl on TikTok do this, and I've been doing it ever since, and I feel like it helps. And I take a brush like this, and I dip it in some acetone. Not like drench it, but, you know, a good amount. And then I put it on the cuticle of my nail like the nail the bottom what is this yeah the cuticle and i i like melts the gel x into the acrylic the bitch can i fucking what am i talking about see i don't know <laughs> technical terms for things like nail tech terms so bear with me anyways this like melts it into your nail i don't know it works so you should do it but if you put too much it'll start lifting up the nail. So make sure not to do that. But you see the difference that makes, like compared to this? I don't know if you can tell. It makes a really big difference. Anyways, now we're gonna buff them and we're almost to the polish, I promise. We're almost to the fun bar. But now we're gonna buff all the shine away because I don't know why you do this. Is it to make, I think it's to make the nail polish, the gel stick on good and gives you a smooth application. Yeah, a smooth application. I don't think I'm going to film the whole time I do the design, but I'll definitely update you guys through the process of what I'm doing. But I'm, like I said, my vibe is pink and black. I think I'm going to do some, I think I'm going to make it really close to that inspo pick. I'll show it again. But Oh, the charms I have? I'm going to put little piercings on my nails, but I'm not going to, like, drill the hole through it. I'm going to just put it on, like, a charm. I got these little nail piercings, and I also got, what is that design called? Neo Tribal? I got stickers that have Neo Tribal because, bitch, nail art, I cannot do that. I know how to put a sticker on. Okay, I did these three black and then these two nude this is the first coat i haven't cured it these ones are going to be frenchies so i'm going to cure it in the lamp and then the rhinestone glue that i was hyping up earlier it's this one this shit works so fucking good how do you even say that macarat this fucking shit keeps your fucking rhinestones on the whole time you have your set and that's probably one of the biggest fucking pet peeves with like nails is like when you have a cute ass set and then your fucking rhinestones come off so that shit works so good but yeah i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna use blooming gel and make some crocodile print on some of them but i'm gonna do pink to make the crocodile print okay i did some of the design they don't look like the girl's picture but I'm gonna add the jewels now and then the piercings. Can you guys see? They're still cute though. They need a top coat. OMG. Look at those babies. So there's the Neo Tribal little things. Then we got the little piercings and the jewels. And we got a crying baby. Come here, Jenny. so it's been like two and a half weeks since i filmed this video and every rhinestone every nail no lifting everything is still intact these bitches are on um i didn't get to film an outro but i thought that i would wait to when i post it so i could show you that they're still here um 
I'm filming on my computer, so it doesn't really look the best, but I'm telling you guys, if you follow every step that I did, your nails will last. If you guys want to see another video of me just, like, doing my nails, um, and not, like, instructing, like, not showing you how, I'm just, like, doing them, like, do my nails with me, let me know so you guys can, like, see, like, me doing the design if that's something that interests you just let me know because I do my nails all the time and if you guys want to see when I do that if you like want a series of that just let me know um it's something I really love to do so you know um but yeah I love you guys so freaking much if you guys want to freaking get all the products that I use I don't have an Amazon storefront but I'll just link them down below if you guys want to go and get them but yeah be good to your fucking brain or I'll beat you up bitch but you already knew that you already knew it. You already knew that. I love you so much. I hope that you have the best day ever. And I will see you next week. I think that I'm going to post two videos next week just because something exciting is happening on the 4th of July. No, I'm not saying I'm celebrating America. It's my one year of sobriety. So I think I'm going to post a video that day because I just, I want to. Okay. Love you so freaking much. Goodbye. You get to your brain or I'll beat you up, but you already know that, bitch. I already said that. Okay, goodbye. Love you.